I've got an airplane with a three axis gyro. I'm going to show how to do a pre flight check. I do this each and every time that I fly with an airplane that has a uh, three axis gyro. So turn on the transmitter, power up away from the prop. I'm letting the gyro initialize. Turn on throttle hold so that I don't accidentally throttle up on myself. Okay. Use the control sticks, aileron, elevator, rudder, make sure I have control. Then I'm gonna use the, uh, pick up the plane and I'm gonna rock the wing, make sure that the aileron gyro is uh, compensating, elevator, and rudder. I do that each and every flight to make sure that the gyro is initialized and working in the proper direction. You should have already done a gyro test to make sure that it works in the proper direction, but here is what I'm looking at when I'm actually lifting up the wing. This is the left aileron, okay, and I'll get a view right here. If I lift the left aileron up, Excuse me, if I lift the left wing up, the left aileron should lift. So if I lift the wing up in this direction, that control surface should also move up in the same direction, which is what counteracts that movement. Once again, I am going to li lift the left wing and the aileron moves up while I'm lifting. In the case of the elevator, if I lift the tail, let's look right here, if I lift the tail, that elevator is going to move up. I am looking at the elevator while I'm doing the lifting motion. If you have a three axis gyro in rate mode, it's going to just bump, but I, it's easier to tell in heading hold mode because when I lift that tail up, that elevator makes an up motion. In the case of the, the rudder, if I push the tail, let me, zoom out, let me zoom out here a little bit, okay, if I push the tail, the rudder is going to move in the same direction that I'm pushing. So when I do my three axis gyro pre-flight test, I'm looking at all three of those control surfaces. I've done it enough times that I can move it pretty quickly and tell in an instant if it's going in the wrong direction. So as you're learning, make sure that you go a little slow and make sure it's right before you do your flight. I do that pre-flight test, both moving the airplane and moving the sticks every single flight so that I don't make a mistake and cost me an airplane.